Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about how to get the bushes into the links on this anti-roll bar. I've got to um, got to make up, I think I'll make up a jig to try and press these in because the challenge is obviously trying to squeeze this bush into this annular space between the bar and the drop link. And on the drop link there's a, a, a contoured shape, you can probably see it here, it's contoured, V-shaped, and that's replicated inside the link. So this thick bit's gonna squeeze between that lower bit here and the bar, and that's gonna be a bit of a challenge, I think. I can't just um, put this bush through the, through the link and then push it over the end of the bar. This is too thick, and there's no way you know, I'm gonna get that over, over there with this, binding on the outside so I've got to put the I've got to put the link the link on the bar first and then the bush and then force the bush into the space between the bar and the link so I'm going to make up a, uh, a jig which hopefully will help me do that the first thing I did was I've turned up this this collar on the lathe um, and it's got a recess here and the idea is that recess fits over the big end of the link like that and then we push past this over the bar the bush will already be on the bar and that's going to go in here and then I've, and I've made up these two plates so I, again these will fit over the bar and then Hopefully, I will be able to put a clamp around here, a G clamp, or maybe one of these you know, sash clamps, and, and force the whole thing in with a bit of lubrication. Um, that's the plan, anyway. Um, I need to weld this into there so that um, there is an even support on here, on the back end of the back end of the bush. I made it, let's make it split so let's take this apart so I can get it off the, over the bar and then get it off after. So the challenge is I've got to put it all on this side so um, this has got to be able to go on there because it's not split I need to be able to pull that back off that way so it's quite important the order in which I put all these things onto the, onto the bar. So the bush is going to have to go on first then obviously I'll move it round to where it's going to go. Then the link. Then the collar. And then finally I'll put this down. Put the split plates on. And then the bush, which will be in there already. And then I clamp round. Clamp round here and here. Hopefully, we'll put some lubricant on. Probably, um, I'll use washing up liquid or WD 40 maybe, and then squeeze the whole lot in, and hopefully, it will pop in. Well, I'm now ready to uh, put the try and put these bushes on. It's really important that I get this bar the right way up and the right way around. So, um, that flat needs to be up, and that, that direction is the back of the car. And then these links have got a an angle on them, an offset. So again, it's important they're in the right or, in, or the, on the right side. So the chassis rails go that way. So that this marries up with that. So that one goes on this side, and this one goes on the other side. Right, first thing to do is get the uh, one of these rubber bushes on. So let's put some of that on here. Gonna go on that way. Bit more on here. Bit 
So I'm going to have this, this side so that that provides support to the bearing. Put these in just to hold it together. I hope this works. Hoping these clamps are going to have enough in them to, um, to pull this up. Put some more WD on. Well, the trouble is it's all bellied up here, the other side's all bellied up. Let's let this off. Well, it ain't going in. Give me a bit more side support and stop it bellying, and then see how we go. What we might do. Let's try this. WD in there. I think it's working. It seems to be going in a bit better. Got in a bit more, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Right, it's bottomed out now on the Jubilee clip. Let me release this and see what. Yeah, it's gone in a bit more. I think it's going a bit more. It's hard to tell, really. Let's take this off and have a look. Yeah, it has gone in a bit more. So, what I need is a thinner Jubilee clip. Right, I'm got a thinner Jubilee clip, so I'm going to try a tie wrap. Um, the trouble is, I don't think this is going to stay in position very easily, but you know, never know. Give it a go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, something's happening. Probably just hard to know where it's going in. I was just compressing the rubber more. Right, that's bellied up again. Let me see. Let's put another wrap, tie wrap round there, see if that makes any difference. Well, it's gone. Well, it's, again, it's just compressing, I think. Let's cut this off. No, it's definitely it's gone in a bit more. The um, the centre I can't see the centre line where that was before, so it has gone in a bit. Let's try. Again. Oh yes, it's in. That's it, it's gone. Brilliant. Obviously got over that sort of centre hump. Off. Look at that, it's almost in. That's it, it's in. Fantastic. And it's on the right way round, which is a bit of luck. Relief. So it's in. Just another one to go. Right, let's try the next one now. WD, it seems to have disappeared. It's going. It's, actually, this one feels like it's the first bit's gone in easily. This is coming off. <laughs> right, two glue clips in the way now. I did the Jubilee clip up a bit tighter this time, I think that helped. I was a bit concerned about it's going to bind on the, on the bar. Stop it going in. Right, let's put a couple of these round.
so you know, this, this is going in much easier. Right, that's brilliant. Let's cut this off. I don't know whether I'm going to need that one or not. I think it's probably going to be all right, but let me just stick it on just for the good practice. Yeah, that's gone in. I think once it gets over that centre, the dip in here, then, then it's, it's downhill from there on. So that's, that's in. That is in. Let me just take this off. I'm going to give it a little bit more of a press, because I'm not sure it's 100% centred. Fantastic. Job done. Well, that's it for today's video. Um, I've got the links on the roll bar, I've got the rubber bushes in. It's all ready to go back on the car. Um, with the aid of the jig that I made, sliding pieces, collar, four uh, tie wraps, and a Jubilee chip. So that's it. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you again next time.